You think this is gonna work? You think we can take it? <laughs> it's crazy because this glass, you know, let's give it a try, see how it ends up working. What's going on with that family? Today I got a little review for y'all. We tool sent me this weather machine to review. I'm gonna give you a re review of the machine. I haven't got a chance to try it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm digging the color. If y'all know my logo, the color is red and white and black. So it's really giving well lab vibes right here. I like how it looks. It's digital in the front. Got a little knob that goes up to 160 amps. But the cool thing about this machine is only $120 on Amazon. I'm gonna have the link in the description box below. If you're interested in this machine, I'm gonna be trying stick and TIG on it. You guess you can run a uh, TIG. I did a previous uh, video on a different water machine. A lot of y'all were saying that, oh, you can't run TIG on that because you need a foot pedal. Bro, I can tell you now, you're a shop water and you've never mm -hmm. been to the field. You do not need a foot pedal to run TIG. All you need is argon and switch the cables. But we'll be trying that. I'm at my homeboy, Santana's Water Services. He has a water school out here in Humboldt, Texas. If, if that's a better fit for you and you're looking for a school that's closer to you, uh, towards the end of the video, he will tell you more details on what he offers, what he does, the classes that he gives, and I'll give you a little tour. So, man, if you're interested, uh, we'll drop his uh, Instagram. My Instagram is 300SWS, guys. You guys can go ahead and follow me and I'll follow back. Let's give, it, let's give the machine a try first, see how it wells. We're gonna be burning some sticks, some V32 and one eighth, and move on to some TIG, see how good it burns. Uh, this machine right here, I will not use it if for more industrial work. I'll use it to have it at the house to do the projects, even practice welding if you're trying to practice at home. Uh, but I wouldn't be using it too much to weld anything heavy because it's $120, you know, uh, you eventually burn it up. But we're about to get suited up and let's get ready. If you buy this machine, it comes with a uh, stinger. It's only like five foot. So if you might want to get a longer one, we got an extension for what we're trying to do today because if not, we'll be kind of just barely reaching where we're going. It also comes with five foot ground. The ground looks pretty good, not too bad. The ground doesn't need to be that long. And it also comes with an adapter. You can plug this up to a 110 at your house. It's better to do at 220 to get this full potential. Uh, the actual machine, it comes with the 220 right here. This is the one that plugs into like the washer and dryer. This is the one I recommend for you to use. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna try some 332 on there. Uh, that machine said 85 amps. I'm gonna just run like a little bead right here at the bottom, come up, and we're gonna do some uh, TIG on top where you see it's nice and shiny. See how it burns. Hey, about me crazy, I've been dying to get some get back on that wheel talk. Okay, so I just ran the bottom one and I have a lag to you with the machine getting down, boy. Check it out, check it out. Look at the slag. You know what that machine said, right? When you can just knock that slag out. Five amps from 332, not bad. For $120. Easily practice at home if you try this and stick. Think about it. Let's see. Oh, it definitely looks like it got. Good. Hell yeah. Let's try it out. Take off. Take off. That wheel talk. That 300 and it's a better off the scale talk. That totem fire, that weave it wide, that wish it well talk. That leave them blind up in the bind, that give them hell talk. Bitches, I try to tell y'all, Rizzo, they want that well talk. Yeah, that 300, and that's a better up the scale talk. That totem fire, that weave it wide, that wish it well talk. That leave them blind up in the bind, that give them hell talk. Bitches, I try to tell y'all, Rizzo, they want that well talk. I'm not as living off the interstate, I'm innovative with these pretty words. I paint a picture, need no illustration. I know how they tried it with 332. It's amazing. Let's see how good it does with one eighth. Uh, crank it up to about 105. Start there. You know, whenever you do one eighth, especially when you do the bottom, especially when you do the bottom, you don't need to be too hot. And now you're gonna start dripping. It's gonna eat up that metal. So 105 should be able to do it. Uh, I'm gonna let uh, Santana go first. Let's just do it. Feel your face, the bitch come past me. Striking up a heart right in your face. You know I'm flashing. Rizzo, you the goat, no you the great bitch. I ain't average. Maybe I got that magic. All right, guys. So we tried it with stick. Five stars. I'm amazed how it does. Our four strokes real good. We're in 332, real good. We just tried one eight. It's still pretty good. Uh, another positive thing we'll have to say about the machine is that the amperage is really close. Whenever you burn, burn at 90, it feels like you're burning at 90 compared to other machines that I have used similar to this the amperage is kind of off a little bit this is really really close we're about to hop on some TIG now we have it maxed out all the way to 161 whenever you will TIG you know you want to run a little hotter if you want the TIG it's pretty simple all you gotta do is flip the polarities around negative go to your TIG rig 
positive, goes to your ground, pretty simple. You have to have 100% argon and with a little hose, it's gonna connect to your TIG rig, which is this little hose right here. Pretty simple, you don't need a foot pedal, uh, you don't need a fancy button that says TIG, this machine will do it, you know, just fit the player. Same thing with my SA200. That's like the number one question I get asked all the time is how do I work with TIG? Flip the polarity, that's it, no button, no nothing. You ready to I'm in the dark cloud, I'm feeling my heart pounding, taking my meds. I'm taking good care of myself, they ain't hating on me yet, I'm preparing myself. They don't wanna see you win, I'ma wear myself. Big sharp with the fins, I'ma wear myself. I ain't really gotta rap, I can wear myself. Big draw, straight drop, I can sell myself. Real, do the right thing, what I tell myself. I ain't never been shit, I can smell myself. Ooh, really the man now, nah. look at them bands now, nah. making it last. Really them rag up, really the nags, much when Straight to the bad nigga, you ass died. Ain't giving no cash shot. You making me mad. I really got plans. Now nah, these gon' hand die. So I'm shaking my head. Real, really the man. Now nah, look at them. All right, so we tried it with TIG, but I forgot. I really want to see what, how it does with six to ten. A lot of these little machines cannot well six to ten. Uh, might want to do it root. I'm gonna just do like a little pass on there. See how good it works. Want me to boost it up, bro? Oh. So, I just tried doing 6 to 10. Uh, it doesn't really, I mean, you can get a nice attack on there, but it's not really meant so well with 6 to 10, like I figured. Uh, these you usually need a different machine when it comes to 6 to 10, it's a different type of rod. Like I said, I was able to put a little stitch, but after a while, the arc would just go out. But uh, it was great for uh, 718, and uh, it's great for 718 and TIG. Like I said, you know, just to have in the garage, I just doesn't know, do projects, you know how to weld. I wouldn't weld anything heavier than a four inch simply because I feel like you'll burn the machine out. But other than that, man, it's a major, major goal. I'm gonna have the link in the description box below if you're interested in getting it. I think uh, from one to 10, I'm gonna give it a 10 with 718. I'm gonna give it a seven with TIG simply because I feel like 160 amps is not enough. You might need a little more just, just to get more heat in there. But if you wanna weld something smaller, like a little two inch pipe or just take a little small stuff, it'll do a good job, even sanitary work. But if you're trying to practice more, like on learning how to really TIG a uh, bigger pipe, then I don't think it'll be a good machine for you. You might have to go level up and get the next bigger machine. But other than that, man, I think it's a great product. I I like it, uh, not too bad guys. Uh, I think it'll be a major, major goal if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, yeah. uh, I was scrolling through IG the other day and I seen a guy welding a glass bottle to some metal, man. I thought that was a dope video. Um, I'm gonna let y'all check it out right here. I'm about to try the same thing, but I seen that he just tacked it. So I'm gonna try to weld the whole thing without it cracking. I think I'm gonna use like 332 uh, 718. I know he used 1 8, but I'm gonna try to do it a little different because I don't wanna put too much heat. I wanna see how far I could go without it breaking. But as you seen, he let go of the bottle and it was tacked on there. I think it's a dope video. I'm gonna try it out for y'all, do a little experiment. Let's go. All right, so we're about to get started. I got the machine six set at a 90 amp right now, 332 718. I'm also using that snake belly lens. I don't know if I like I seen him at homeboy, uh, Pepe's from Art Show. He has lens. Uh, you can set it anywhere from, uh, I think, 5 all the way to 12. You can change the shades, the delay. It's a pretty dope lens. It's my first time using it. Um, let you know how I like it, what it was thick and thick. Uh, you, did you get a chance to try that lens? I haven't tried it out yet. It's my first time right now, too. Let's see how it works out, bro. Yeah, he's making a lot of noise, so we can give it a, a try, man. You think, you think this is going to work? You think we like it? <laughs> it's crazy, bro. It's crazy because it's glass, you know. It's, yeah. it's something that's very, I don't know, very, very, very weird, bro, but Let's give it a try and see how it ends up working. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do a 6G test with this. I'm gonna hold it from right there. Wow, it's fucking crazy, dude. There you go. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll be able to take it. 
So as you can see, it does work. Uh, it's cracking. We might want to get an arc shot on that too. That, that way you yeah, can see. Yeah, yeah, we'll get out some arc shots. We have, we have another bottle. We're gonna try it. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can weld the whole thing without it cracking. I think the guy, well, what he did different, he used a thicker bottle. This is not that thick, so I think if we to use a thicker bottle, it'll probably take more heat. But uh, I'm about to try to take the bottom. Let's see. <laughs> it works though. Shit. Yeah. Alright, as you can see it cracked, so maybe this ain't gonna work that good. I think we need a thicker bottle. You see the first bottle crack, so good thing. Santana over here drinks and he has a thicker <laughs> bottle, so we're gonna try it with a thicker bottle, see if that one holds. By the way, I had uh snake belly lens. At 11, I found like it was too bright for my eyes, so I cranked it all the way up to 13. It might be a little bit better. Really, really clear compared to other uh, lenses. So I'll let you know how I like 13. Maybe because they have water no way. Hello guys, my name is Euro Santana and we're out here at Santana's Welding Service. I'm doing a little collab with Weld Lab today and I really appreciate that. I'm back guys, I'm back giving you good welding content. So make sure you guys stay tuned for some welding content from Santana's Welding Service. Just to give you a little tour around my welding school guys. We're out here located in Ombo, Texas on 59 North and Greens Road, okay? Right here guys, it's uh, basically one-on-one -on -one training. I have maximum of four students per session, okay? So I'm going to give you the full on attention that you need. I'm basically going to be giving you guys your money's worth, okay? So what I start off with is basically, you know, straight on. I start you off straight on pipe welding, okay? I do a lot of combo, pipeline, um, you know, you name it. Everything we do here at Santana's Welding Services, baby. So we have a Lincoln, Lincoln welder, guys. Now, these these welders, we usually use them uh, to throw down some pipeline, some 6010 and some 8010. That way, whenever you want to get down to the real feel of uh, what it feels like to weld with a real gas machine santana's welding service baby now over here guys or obstacles okay now for our obstacles is basically just to give you a little feel of what it's like uh out there in the field you know being in an uncomfortable position welding with your left hand this is what's gonna help you out guys okay that's more more way deeper once you're learning your basics you know your 6g 5g and 2g positions basically basically this is our boots guys like i said it's just three boots i got a minimum of four with extra plugs on the wall but i'm going to be giving you the full on attention that you need guys here at santana's welding service you can always follow me on instagram 300 sws or give me a call 832-531-0860 thank you